Adithir L1 after Chandrayaan India launch first sun mission ISRO big mission. India has reached the moon. Now it's the turn of the sun. Welcome to an incredible journey that's about to make history. Today, we're diving deep into Adithir L1, India's groundbreaking mission to explore the sun, right after the monumental success of Chandrayaan. On the 2nd of September, 2023, we are about to witness the launch of a mission that will take us closer to the heart of our solar system. Just a while ago, ISRO achieved the impossible by landing Chandrayaan on the moon, and now, they're gearing up for an even bigger mission. Welcome to Immersive Fiction. Let's break it down in simple terms. Adifier means our sun, the fiery heart of our solar system. But what about that L1? Remember those school days when Newton's gravity used to puzzle us? Well, it's not that complicated. Newton's third law states, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This law applies in space too. In simple words, just as the sun's gravity affects the earth, the earth's gravity affects the sun. These gravitational forces engage in a cosmic tug of war. And guess what? There's a point where they cancel each other out. This special point is called L1, one of five such points in space, known as Lagrange points, L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5. It takes minimal fuel to stay steady at L1, making a diffier L1 incredibly cost-effective. Efficiency is our middle name at ISRO. A Diffier L1 boasts seven powerful payloads, four dedicated to studying the sun and three focused on observing the L1 point. Landing on the moon was an achievement, but landing on the sun? Well, that's impossible. The sun's surface temperature averages a scorching 5,500 degrees Celsius. Plus, it's 150 million kilometers away from Earth. But here's the good news, a Diffier L1 doesn't need to venture that far. We're only going 1.5 million kilometers to the L1 point, which is four times the distance covered by Chandrayaan. And the best part? The entire mission, including the launch, will cost around 400 crores. A cost-effective journey to unlock the secrets of our sun. It's a race against time. While Chandrayaan 3 is set to be active for just 14 days. A Diffier L1 is here for the long haul, with a mission duration of a whopping five years. But hold on. We're not alone out there at the L1 point. The European Space Agency's SOHO, the Solar Heliospheric Observatory satellite, is already keeping an eye on the Sun. Now you will think, wait, the Chandrayaan at least planned to land on the Moon then it can check the soil, etc. It can look at the temperature there. In the future, it can collect important data to build a colony for humans. But a Diffier L1 will not land on the sun, nor will it go very near the sun. If you want to just look at the sun, then it can be done wearing goggles too. So, by getting a little closer to the sun, what difference does it make? A Diffier L1's mission is quite long and its objectives are quite interesting. Have you ever wondered why the sun's outermost layer, the corona, is hotter than its surface? It's a mind-boggling mystery known as the coronal heating problem. Scientists have theories, but it's still unsolved. Why is the Adifier L1 mission vital? Chandrayaan 3 proved India can soft land on celestial bodies. But Adifier L1 is a different league, it's our very first sun-focused mission. India joins the elite club, alongside America, Russia, and China, in studying the sun's impact. With climate change looming, understanding our sun's cycles is crucial for India's future. We often think space is for the rich, but our visionary founder, Bikram Sarabhai, had a different dream. He wanted ISRO to use space tech for everyday issues. From communication with INSAT satellites to remote sensing for monitoring resources, weather forecasting, and disaster management, ISRO's achievements benefit us all. Now, we're reaching for the stars. So, there you have it, folks. Chandrayaan 3 and Adifier L1, paving the way for India in the cosmic arena. If you're as excited as we are for Adifier L1, 
let's flood the comments with all the best for ISRO's mission. Until next time, keep looking up.